This is Randy Altman's Perspective. Randy Altman has been writing about our industry for more than 20 years. In fact, she's the editor-in-chief of her own website at postperspective.com. And as always, I am delighted to say hello, Randy. Welcome back. Hi, Larry. Good to be back. Well, the Oscars are over. Did all your winners win? <laughs> um, I don't know if they all won, but a lot of them won. I, I was pretty impressed with the showing for Mad Max, Fury Road. Took a lot of the technical side of the Oscars in terms of uh, editors, audio post. So it was fun to watch those guys coming coming up and down from, from the stage. It was interesting thinking of technical issues. The Martian didn't win any. I know. That was a surprise. There were a lot of surprises, and everybody thought that The Revenant was going to uh, take Best Picture, and it, and it didn't, which was pretty interesting. So, But what I did like, getting back to Mad Max, is, you know, they didn't win Best Visual Effects. That went to Ex Machina. So um, that was double negative and also Milk VFX. And the interesting part of that was there was actually a lady visual effects artist up there collecting an Oscar. She is one of two women who have ever collected a VFX Oscar. Uh, the last one was for Aliens. So that, and I think three have been nominated ever. So that was a really big deal. It was really nice to see. So it was nice to see that something off the beaten path won and that a lady went up and and got an Oscar. So what are your takeaways from this? Are are there some vast reading of tea leaves and goat entrails that we can draw from the Oscar voting this year? It was pretty diverse, I think. I mean, other than Mad Max getting the six and the ten nominations, uh, I I think it was fairly diverse. And I kind of like that. I mean, there were couple of surprises in there, but I, I really thought that The Revenant was going, not that I agreed, I just thought that The Revenant, there was this whole big sort of um, build-up coming. Um, but I was, uh, it was nice to see Mad Max and George Miller get a lot of notice. Well, I was forward. also impressed that Spotlight won, because it, it was a smaller film, and it had a really important message, and the cast did a great job, as, mm-hmm. as did the cast inside the big short. I thought both of those were excellent excellent ensemble films. So um, Revenant is amazing, but um, I think the right movie won from my point of view. I agree. I agree. And, and, and the editor for Mad Max won, which was pretty amazing, too. But it could have very easily been The Big Short and or Spotlight, too. I mean, there's some... I, I thought there were some really good movies this year and some really good artistry that went on. And oh. uh, I was... I was uh, my favorite part of the entire Oscar uh, broadcast was Mark Mangini from Formosa, who came up to collect his uh, his audio Oscar for Mad Max. He had more enthusiasm than I think anyone else on that stage. It was a <laughs> ton of fun to watch. Randy, what website can people go to to keep track of all of your thinking? Postperspective.com. And Randy Altman is the founder and editor-in-chief of Postperspective.com. Randy, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Larry. To read more from Randy Altman, visit postperspective.com.